Alrighty, how's it going traders? This is Kyle, Chief Strategist at FXU and Active Management. I'm giving you guys a video here of a brief rundown of the biggest market movers of last week and uh, what I have my sights on for the trading opportunities of this up and coming week and, um, and a brief fundamental overview of uh, what took place in the markets. Um, you know, we like to get ahead of the game by preparing our analysis and fundamentals for the week ahead. And uh, so we're going to jump right into it. First biggest move, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and start off with the U.S. major equities. Uh, the S&P 500 turns down huge this past week, um, shaving 2% on Friday and another, I believe, 2% or 3% on Thursday, and it just completely rolled over. We are now back in correction territory as we once were um, earlier this year during uh, the initial sell-off. I believe that was early February. Um, uh, yeah, early February, late January uh, this year. Uh, so we're back in this correctional area. I still do believe that the volatility and selling pressure will go ahead and continue for the U.S. major equities as fundamentals such as tariffs uh, start to come into play and have their own economic impact. Um, there is still some government related issues as to why um, uh, the major equities and U.S. stocks have been under pressure lately. And... Um, and a lot of it has to do with, you know, the decisions being made um, with the uh, monetary policy and whatever economic growth and trade wars. And there's this so much fundamentals clouding um, the, the, the insight or idea behind investors. So there's a lot of precautionary uh, volatility involved. I still do thoroughly believe that the bear market is not over. For the U.S. equities, I do think that we're going to see more downside soon, and um, and this goes for the Dow Jones as well, um, so uh, and the Nasdaq. So uh, this is the situation that we're currently looking at at hand. We're deep in correctional territory, so uh, you know we will we will see um, what's going to take place next. So this is going to be strong on our radar as we watch how the stocks will be moving. Uh, next, we have um, gold. Gold had an impressive rally on Wednesday and continuing through Thursday and Friday uh, with a grand total of, uh, let's see, about up oh, about 47 about almost $40. So let's see, it's about $40 rally here. We're going to double bottom here at uh, 13 at 1310 and rallied all the way up to 1347 or 1350 which was super impressive um i thought that was a huge move out of gold it was clean cut huge move out of gold and those are the kind of volatility swings that we strive for as traders so um that was uh very cool to see and um uh, we definitely have more commodities that zoomed under a weak dollar and um, oil was another one we took the position in oil uh, this time around uh, rolled it out for quite a little bit um, didn't reach profit taking uh, positions yet but uh, we're still in this oil rally and uh, it's quite impressive oil has been showing a stance of straight bull and uh, it's not letting up. Um, so if we break these highs up here of 66.30, we will definitely be eyeing a new price of $70 a barrel for the CFD. The DXY, the DXY has um, finally broken its range here. It range traded here over the last two weeks in between um, 90 cents and 89 cents. Uh, and uh, now look is to continue lower, much lower as it breaks into the 88. Uh, in 88, 88 range, <clears throat> these uh, lower prices uh, should show some advantages for the euro dollar, gold, and oil as they should rally against the weak dollar. Um, so this is the outlooks for next week. We're going to have some smaller, smaller currency pairs that will uh, hit the charts uh, this week as well. As I try to keep this video 
in the five minute range. Uh, that's where we're landing at about right now. So uh, next it's going to be straight pre-market analysis. I give my best idea, my best trade for pre-market open. And um, we'll see how it goes. If that trade even exists, there's a chance that there may not be a trade for market open. So um, um, if that doesn't exist, it's not a problem. We wait in through, into through Monday and uh, we will see uh, what the week turns for us. You know, we got to see what the week turns for us. So um stay frosty everybody we love the volatility we love the fundamentals that are coming out it's not in the best favor for a u.s economy but is it in the best favor for traders yes indeed as the increased volatility giving us uh great great volatility and price movement giving us a chance to execute trades that are potentially profitable so this is kyle's chief strategist at active management and fxu bringing you another uh evening note for saturday as i get ready to kick off pre-market analysis go ahead and drop a follow drop a like and i will try my best to bring to you more content uh, i trade the markets full time every day each and every day and i hope uh you guys get to uh you know see what i think about and uh, how i trade and my notes so see you guys for the next video i appreciate your time and we are over and out.